Cap Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a Auto Hotkey version 2, <clears throat> as you can see on the screen, UIA version 2, UI Automation, uh, nice little wrapper uh, for the uh, UA Automation Framework, and it's used to automate a lot of stuff, uh, it's way better than using like the coordinates of clicks and whatnot, uh, you'll see a little bit better what I understand talking about um, but obviously this will be in the description below the link to the github uh, once you're here really all you're going to do is uh, click the little green uh, code download the zip file once that's done zip it and uh, you know wherever it is it's on my desktop <clears throat> let's take a look at that all right and if you guys want to see more videos diving way deeper uh, this is just kind of the installation your first script uh, we're going to be doing something simple, we'll probably use like the calculator because it's a real uh, visual way to see it. Um, I think the next video will be maybe Chrome on how to use this with Chrome and other windows. Um, so here's our script. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that this doesn't work for every program out there. <clears throat> it's kind of hit or miss. I don't know if there's a master list out there. I, so far I know it works in, you know, some basic Windows apps that I've tested it in. Um, I've used it for Chrome before, but beyond that, I'm not really sure. Um, so if you guys in the comments below want to give me a list of like programs you know it does work in, programs you know it doesn't work in, um, on my website, uh, which should also already be in my description, you can go here, click the FAQ button, and I have my game list here. Um, this is where I kind of keep... Uh, a lot of information on how auto hotkeys works with various games, um, but I am going to be adding towards the bottom because it's alphabetized a UIA uh, list where you can drop down and it's going to show you, you know, programs we know it works in, programs it doesn't work in. So please let me know in the comments below. Uh, this part will be live, uh, but I won't have too much in there until I get your guys' feedback because you guys help me a lot with that kind of stuff. Um, so definitely let me know. Um, so once we're in here, um, you got some pretty basic stuff. There's examples in here. There's a decent amount of examples. Uh, if you guys want to start with playing around, there's Notepad 1, calculator, stuff like that. But we're going to be kind of doing ours raw here. We don't need the examples. Um, here's what we're going to be using, UIA. Uh, so it's in the uh, library. Go ahead and run that. <clears throat> and here is our user interface. So this thing is really cool. It gives you a lot of information. Obviously, there's nothing there yet we haven't started. Um, so let's go ahead and open a calculator. There we go. So here's our calculator. So I'm hovering over. It's doing nothing. That's because we got to go down here and push start capturing, which is alt S and then also alt S to stop it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start it. <clears throat> and the cool thing is it does highlight what you're hovering over. So that way you can see, you know, what that button is, its boundaries and whatnot. Obviously, on the calculator, those are pretty distinguishable um, for the hat. But as you go through, uh, it's just giving you information. So I can go ahead and push uh, Alt S. You know, I'm happy with this screen. That way, I can go back over here and play easily. Uh, you can jump over anyway. It usually, doesn't mess anything up. But uh, this kind of right here has everything. <clears throat> and as we go through, you can see it's highlighting. Uh, which one I'm clicking on, which is a really cool feature. Uh, it's not just going to show the last one I clicked on or nothing. Um, and there's some more details here. Uh, you know, this one is name is nine. Obviously, it's the button number nine. So, how do we actually create a script? So, there's two ways to go about this. By far, the easiest is using the actual viewer here, coming on over. Now, obviously, you just saw I moved the window a little bit, so it kind of screwed stuff up a bit. That's fine. <clears throat> Click uh, down here, the little Show Macro Sidebar. And this will actually start writing our code in AutoHotKey version 2 um, without us really having to do much except for choose what kind of action we want. Uh, there's a pretty decent amount of actions. Uh, there's click, uh, control click, uh, highlight, stuff like that. We're just going to keep it simple with click. So what do we want to actually click on? We want to click 3, add element. <clears throat> Don't worry, if you can't see this very well, I'm going to be putting this in notepad 
uh, plus plus here in a few minutes. So we're going to do three. Uh, let's add or minus. That's the first one I saw. Minus uh, two. And then obviously we need to click equals, which is right there. Add element. Now we want to test this out. Here's our code, just a quick showdown of uh, what it is. This is the file path right here. So as you can see, they're uh, slightly different, um, distinguishing which number. Uh, it's including the library up here, because you need that. It's application frame host, the I, element from path, and then what uh, action is it performing? It's performing a click. Uh, so you can actually just go ahead and simply just push test script. And there we go. So I probably did that really fast, uh, but you can, uh, another reason I wanted to use the calculator is it shows you kind of what it did. 3 minus 2 equals, and we got that 1. So it worked. So very simple. Now another thing you can do with this is you can go ahead and just copy and paste like that, or there is a copy button down here. and We can go ahead and put that, let's go ahead and close that. I did copy it, right? Go ahead and close that, and we're just going to jump into Notepad or whatever IDE really you're using. I just use Notepad because it's uh, easier uh, viewing-wise in these videos. <clears throat> but I usually use uh, VS Code sometimes. Uh, but yeah, there's our code, a little bit more visible. Um, and yeah, So obviously using that viewer is a lot more helpful, because um, you're still going to need that path regardless of what you're doing. So, I mean, this part you can type out yourself with the syntax is pretty simple. It's really this is what you're looking for. So you can start to learn this code without the help of the viewer, but you still really need that uh, file path here. Um, so you're probably still going to use it regardless. Um, so this is it. Obviously, uh, we need to uh, change it up a little bit, uh, make it into the two code with a hotkey just so I can control when I click it. So there we go. Uh, remember, just put uh, curly brackets is the biggest change from V1 to V2 on this example. Yeah, let's go ahead and try that out. We will go ahead and launch another calculator. All right, calculator is up. And just in case you didn't notice, I already had this up here. It just says requires auto hockey V2 or more. Uh, so basically any version of V2, it doesn't matter. It's like 0.1, 0.5, should do good. Here is our fresh calculator. I'm going to run that script, which I think was test one. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, so I forgot the file path is a little wrong there. Um, so when you're using the viewer, it just is taking it as if the script were already in that same folder that we had it in. Obviously, it's not. So depending where you are, uh, mine's the desktop. You just come in, grab that file path real quick just add it to the beginning like so just make sure you put your little dash there your backslash there we go now it should work a little bit better I'm glad that happened and some, yeah, yeah all right so I'm gonna go ahead press F1 there we go three minus two equals one so yeah this is really cool I love it how simple it is uh, like I said in the comments below, let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see um, as far as the path forward with this. I'm going to do a Chrome one, but let me know if there's more in-depth stuff. And also just, you know, do you know what scripts? And if there is an answer on the internet somewhere where someone's already started compiling a lot of this, let me know. I would love to kind of see what they their results were and uh, add it to my website so that I have a you know, one-stop spot. Obviously, when it comes to gaming, uh, I highly doubt a lot of games are going to be able to use it with this. This is more for like work automation, Outlook, Chrome, that kind of stuff. Um, maybe we'll talk about even uh, adding like if functions. You can get really fancy with this too. Obviously, I'm doing math. Why would I need that every time when I know what if I'm doing this? Why would I be using the calculator to do you know three minus two every single time? You can create ifs where like if the er if variable equals one, click on, you know, element one uh, file path. So you could make this where it could actually like 
know what to click based on some elements. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Um, but yeah, just adding some like dips into this could really like add flexibility to that. Yeah, so I'm rambling on. I'm going to let you guys go. Once again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. One video every week having to do with automation, usually in auto hotkeys, but we do expand from time to time. Enjoy! Thank you.